Coach, same right. thing from a defensive perspective. Like I said, kind of got off to a slow start defensively, but then after that, it looked like everything changed. Just what was the message after that first quarter? It was, um, we need to wake up. Um, I think one thing we always talk about in our scouts is making sure we defend opposition and their plays. Um, I saw too much penetration. I saw us lacking. We were slacking on some cuts and stuff like that. Sense of urgency was in there. And I think we challenged them. Um, in the second quarter, I challenged them. I said, we need to shut them down. And they took to it. And you could see a little bit more energy and a little bit more focus on the defensive end. And um, I think we held them to four in that quarter. So we were back playing the way we wanted to play and play with that sense of urgency. And I think sometimes it was an adjustment because Kennedy didn't start the game. And um, we had a different lineup out there. So she's a very aggressive guard defensively for us as well. So once we got her going and stuff and we got back to our regular rotation, it was able to go from here. You speak about Kennedy. Uh two times being a freshman of the week there in the Big East. Just talk a little bit about her development and how she's progressed so quickly and a big contributor to this team. Well, biggest thing with Kennedy is, Kennedy is a kid that have played on the highest level in high school. They've been two national championships on ESPN. Um, she played for Boo Limbs. And when you play in EYBL, you're playing against the best of the best in the country. And she was the lead guard. So she's got a wealth of experience. So this here, it doesn't rattle her at all. She's just constantly, she just moves slow. And you don't see uh, a facial expression when she does something wrong. You don't see a facial expression when she does something right. You know, she's just a kid that's been, you know, built for this. And um, she's been really good for us. And I think the best is yet to come. Um, but those double figures and getting us into our transition and then being able to score, it really put pressure on other team's defense. Did anyone on the bench alert you of Kelsey's being so close to tying the steals record? Yes, um, <laughs> I, I think our sports information director was all over our bench just saying, hey, Coach G, uh, Kelsey's at nine, you know, and I'm thinking as a coach, oh God, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it. I hope she don't fall or nothing because we, we rely on her a lot. And then when she went for that offensive rebound and fell, I'm like, oh no, man, I got to get her out of here. And it was just, I guess this was in the gods that that ball came right to her for that next one. So I was like, thank you, let's get her out of here. But I kept hearing them, let her break it, coach, let her break it. And I was like, oh gosh. So no, everybody, you know, made us aware of it. And talk about a little bit about what she brings to this team and her energy and, and, and her passion. I think she's one of the best defensive guards in the country because her on-ball defense and her ability to lock you down and take on that uh, personality um, is what makes her really good for us because with her and Kennedy, they're aggressive, quick hand guards up there and they do did a good job of taking the lead and score for North Texas out tonight. And when you can rely on that, that's really important. But Kelsey is one of those players that I think every coach would love to have on their team. And technically she still have two years left and we're still developing that mid-range and that three ball, which she's gotten better at. But Lord knows when she get all of that to go with that defense and ability to attack the basket with the left or right hand, it'll cause a lot of problems and then make us better. So I feel good about my backcourt that I call fire and ice. Kelsey being the fire, Kennedy being the ice. And jumping back, you're going to jump back into conference season. Just now that you've had a little taste of it and you're getting back into it, what are some of the things you're looking for as you get back into that conference season like full time? I'm really looking for us to find that will to win and learning how to win down the stretch. Um, I think everyone in the Big East, all those teams are vets and they've been there. And with vets, they know how to make that play at the end. And that was like, what the difference in the ball game. They came up, their vets came up with big shots or a big rebound. And where we had an opportunity with 72-70 in the possession and we missed that where veteran teams gonna find a way. And I think once we learn how to win close games, I think that'll really help us. Um, but we don't have any time. 
because everybody we about to face is pretty daggone good right now. So I'm just hoping that all of this pays off. Um, when you look at our record, out of all eight games, it's been all double-figure wins. So how you win those close games? Battle-tested. DePaul was good to come down the wire and come back and fight, but now how do you win that game? So that's what we're going to be talking about the rest of next two months, you know, how we win those games down the stretch against good teams. Thank you, Coach. I really...